Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and I wanted to actually go back to another lesson that I created when I showed you how to make an image pop. And I'm gonna show you how to do the same similar thing here, but I'm gonna show you a different version of this, all right? Now this is a different style picture. The other one was more of a deeper red. It was a little boy in a truck and uh, it was just a, a lot deeper. Uh, but here, I just wanna show you this and I also wanna show you how we can kinda of even alter it without doing much and without doing a lot of extra work. So let me just kind of walk you through the original, okay, the, of the method on how I do this. So just go to layer and then duplicate layer, select okay, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I bring it right up to about 60, well, 65%, 65, let's call it. All right, there we go. All right, so there we go. Now I'm gonna go to my layer styles and I'm gonna go to soft light. Okay, so that's what I initially did. Now you can see there, it adds a glow to it. It, uh, it adds a little more vibrance to it. You can see just by doing that, right? So that looks pretty good. Um, some would, may say that the face is a little bit too soft or maybe it added a little bit of a yellow cast. Sometimes that's what people like. There's a lot of actions out there that are doing that. This simple thing right here, uh, there's actions out there that people are paying money for. Um, this is super simple to do with what I just showed you. Um, and you can create your own action if you wanted to. But anyway, here's another version of this though. You can just go into here to your layer styles and you can go into screen. And then from there what you can do is go to your opacity and just bring that down. Okay, bring it way down if you want. And you can see what we've done here. We've got like this, this whole soft, misty kind of look, but then maybe her face is too much. So then I would just take the eraser tool, make sure that I have the hardness all the way down, right? And I'm just gonna go and click on it once. And then look what we've done. We've brought the face back. Maybe you want the arms not to be so much. So let's, let's make sure that the arm, that's in a little bit. We can bring that in and we can just go over top of that. So maybe the arms aren't as much, but yet we still get that glow. We give that nice soft look. And that's basically by using the screen uh, mode. If we go into the soft light, we still get that deepness, like I said, but we don't get it all on, on the overall image, okay? Because the, the screen does a different thing altogether. It's more of a washy look, all right? So I just wanted to show you that. And the other thing that you can do, you can always adjust this layer right here. Uh, you can always go into your levels if you wanted to, and if you wanted to darken that, you can see, so you can get more of that color back if you wanted to. Um, or you can go into your curves, and you can, you can increase it if you wanted to even more, see, by just going like that. And then you get that whole washed look, okay? But I just wanted to show you that, real super simple to do and just another way to use your, your mode here for layers, your layer styles, mode, whatever you wanna call them. Um, and in this case, I was using the screen. And then from there, you would just layer, flatten, and you'd be good to go. All right, so once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. If you, uh, if you wanna check out more digital backgrounds and creations like this, you can head over to newportraitbiz.com forward slash club or you can just go to digitalportraitbackgrounds.com. It'll send you to the same place. And uh, over there, we offer a lot of variations to this right here, this type of uh, digital uh, backgrounds and props, uh, these unique ones right here that are uh, used by a lot of photographers all over the world. And uh, it's something that we really enjoy doing and making. And uh, we just love being able to see what other people use them for and with. So if you uh, do join the club and you want to show us some of your work, we'd love to see it. So once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com and I'll talk to you in the next lesson.